Mystic Glow Lady here. Hello, Sagittarius. How are you this month of December 2015? And yes, I am sorry that it is taking me until the second to do these. As I said, my life is never dull and boring, and sometimes, um, no. <laughs> It's out of my control. I gotta go with the flow. Okay? Now, mysticglowlady at gmail.com. That is my official email address. So contact me if you would like a private reading or you just want to say, hey, I like what you're doing. So, don't settle for those imposters, those pirates out there, okay? Uh, at the end of this, you will see, because I made a special bulletin to let everybody know what is going on. Ah! And I'm tracking them down. <laughs> so, Sagittarius, what we're going to do is put you into the first house. And that is why it's a general reading. Now, if your ascendant is Sagittarius, then as I go and I talk about the different houses, then yes, this is more specific if your ascendant, okay, is Sagittarius as to, you know, what's going on in what house, okay? Now, if your moon is Sagittarius, this will let you know how you're going to react emotionally. So, now that you understand that, we had shuffled and you have the moon on the bottom, the energy to work with, the moon, your emotions. Now you have, you know, you like to have fun. You know, you like to have a good time. And Saturn is, is, is pounding on you, okay? Saturn, that lord of karma, all right? It's in your sign, honey. And Saturn, let's see, is at 7 degrees, and it's going to be at 11 degrees. It's like, yeah, Saturn takes two and a half years to go through one sign. So, um, mm -hmm. yep, 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 Saturn's hanging in there for a while. So, what lessons do you need to learn? Okay, the sun's shining there. You have the moon, okay? The sun's going to be there at 8 degrees until the 23rd. We'll, we'll move into Capricorn, and that will be in your second house of finances and possessions. But it's shining on you. You know, who are you? Your first house, your appearance, your body, yourself. Mercury communications is there. 15 degrees on the 11th, it will be moving into the second house. So let's talk about you. Let's talk about money in the second half. Okay? So as we started out in the first house, you have a six of wands, the victory. Okay? So are you using those hard learned lessons? in order to change who you are. Is that what the new moon is going to do? You are going to be coming out and this is who I am. There's a lot of planetary energy pushing us. So it's either a change or be changed energy. All right, we have Pluto square Uranus. We have the Sun conjunct Saturn at the beginning of the month, which is just what I was talking about. You have Saturn square Neptune at the beginning of the month. You know, Saturn. And you have Neptune in your fourth house. You know, your home, your illusions, delusions. But we'll get to that. In your second house, you have the Wheel of Fortune, your second house of finances, your possessions, your belongings, your earnings. You have Capricorn energy in there, and as well as Pluto, and Pluto is that change in transformation. You know, how are you changing things? All right, we're talking about that square, the Pluto square Uranus. Uranus is in your fifth house of fun. You know, is it spending too much money on having fun? All right. In the third house, the third house communication, short distance travels, you have the Ten of Cups, the perfected success. Okay, you have the Aquarius energy 
in there. All right. Um, being happy. You know, I mean, that is a whole big issue with you about being happy and having fun doing it. And maybe it's, it's being more responsible now. Now, in your fourth house of home, you have that Pisces and Neptune in there, and you have the sun. The sun is shining on your home life in December. In your fifth house, your fifth house of fun, creativity, sex, children, you have Aries. Aries energy, that fire, the I am, and Uranus is in there, unexpected, unusual, and you have the king of wands, okay, uh, working it, working it and having a good time. What are those ideas, those thoughts, those, those thoughts of inspiration that you need to write down? You like to have fun. How can you use your thoughts of inspiration in order to inspire other people to have fun? Do you uh, see new inventions of having fun? You know, a new game to play? You know, uh, a, a, new, a new bicycle? You know, maybe for the handicapped or... What? <laughs> okay, now, in your sixth house of work. Y'all... King of Pentacles, uh-huh, those thoughts of inspiration that you have, why can you not use those to make some good money in your work? Or is that what you're doing? Taurus is in there. You know, Taurus is, is that grounded, you know, the Taurus the I have, Taurus that's ruled by Venus, okay, in your work, your work, your health, your, your daily routine, your service. Um, it, it's, um, it's looking like you're going to have a very good December, Sagittarius, happy birthday. Okay, so, in the seventh house, in the seventh house you have the fool. The seventh house is your relationships, and you have Gemini energy in there. Gemini, Gemini communication, communicate about relationships, and you have a full moon. Now, the full moon is letting go of something. Is it letting go of childish behavior in relationships that might be something to be addressed, or is it not treating someone in a relationship as they are the child and you are the parent okay what is the dynamic in your relationships or are you to look at your relationship your new relationship through the eyes of a child okay this is a new relationship it's not the baggage that you've been dragging this is a new one so look at it as a child, you know, in a first love, you know, where you go with that abandoned, all right, yeah, you want to, you want to always, you, you have your flags, you have your red flags, you have your list, this is what I want mentally, physically, spiritually, this is what I don't want mentally, physically, spiritually, okay, now, if you get three red flags, that says, uh-uh, that's karmic, walk, no, run, <laughs> unless you want some pain. I mean, pain is optional, all right? Are you so, I want a relationship so bad that I'm willing to suffer the pain just to be with someone? Oh, been there, done that, and it ain't no fun. Yeah. Okay, eighth house. In your eighth house, you have cancer. Cancer is that I feel. And in the eighth house is other people's money. And you have the five of wands, the strife. All right, so what is that hold up? You know, what, what is the hold up? What is holding back with other people's money? All right, so in the ninth house, in the ninth house of higher learning, long distance travel, spiritual quest, you have Leo. Leo is the I will, and you have the princess of wands in there. So, are you looking to go 
on a spiritual quest? Are you working towards some long distance travel, some higher learning? Is that what you're working towards? Is that what you're working for? In your 10th house, your career house, you have Virgo, okay? Virgo is the I analyze, and you have Jupiter in there, and Jupiter is that multiplier, okay? It's also a spiritual quest, and it's, you have the Princess of Pentacles, so when we're talking about those spiritual quests, and Sagittarius does, do, Sagittarians do like to learn the spiritual, the, blah, 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 blah. Sagittarians do like to learn about spiritual things. They are fun-loving. And yes, once they find that higher spiritual realm, they can always keep the smile on their face. All right, and you have the Princess of Pentacles in there. So what is it in your career that you are sharing? Because you're, you're, you're banging, you know, you're banging, you're, you're making it. You know, who are you inspiring? That, that, you know, Saturn that's in there, you're learning your lessons, aren't you? And that's a good thing. Now, in your 11th house, hopes, wishes, your friends and associates, you have Libra, the balance. Where's the balance? Where's the balance in my friends? You have Venus in there. You have Mars in there. Now, Venus is going to be there at 26 degrees of Libra. Well, on the 6th, it will move to 0 degrees of Scorpio. And it will be at 0 degrees of Sagittarius at the end of the month. So for most of the month, it's going to be, um, you know, are, are, are you going to get some passion going with some of your friends? You have the Queen of Pentacles in there. All right, you have Mars in there. Mars is at 10 degrees of Libra. At the end of the month, it will be at 28 degrees of Libra. And hello, Bella May. She just came down off of her perch to say hello to everyone. How are you, Belly? Hmm? How are you? Okay, so your friends, Queen of Pentacles, you are... Uh, what is it? You have some rich friends, but, you know, no, no cashola, you know? Um, yeah, I'm feeling, because that's, that's a square, you know? It's a square there, it's in an opposition, and there's a whole bunch of squares right in there, okay? With money, with having too much fun, other people's money, with your friends. So, um, yeah, yeah, just don't go blow a whole bunch of money on your friends. All right, and there again, it seems like cash is going to be a big factor, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be minus, all right, just because it's a, come on, Belly, just because I say that it's going to be a factor doesn't mean that it's going to be a bad one, okay, because in your 12th house, you have the Prince of Pentacles. Now, the 12th house is your skeleton closet, okay, it's your hidden enemies, it's your secrets, jails, institutions, Prince of Pentacles. Now, Cashola looks like, as I said, it's going to be flowing quite well. Um, a big part of the planetary is um, taking off our rose-colored glasses. Okay, that's a big part. And not just taking off our rose-colored glasses, but thinking before we speak. Okay, that's a, that's a biggie. All right. Um, let's see, what else do I see for you, Sagittarius? Um, yeah, really, cash is looking really good. Um, if you're counting on other people's money, though, um, you, you have, you have pretty much of your own, all right? Um, I'm, I'm seeing that, that cash is flowing for you, so, um, you know, don't count on, you know, don't count on other people's money. Um... Yeah, you got a good one coming, Sag. So, ride it, baby. <laughs> See you, love you, boy. Blessings. Mystic Glow Lady here. I am making this special 
recording and it is the fact that I am tracking down my pirates and the hackers and those who have been undermining my work since I was in the glow-in-the-dark industry back in 2003 and um, I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> I've been tired of it. I, I, I mean, stop. Seriously. If you are stealing my materials, ideas, you know, in any form or fashion, then I am demanding you to stop. If you are going to steal and compensate me in no form or fashion, then um, I'm going to take direct action. And my di direct action, okay, I'm going to tell you what you do comes back to you. What you do comes back to you. What you do comes back to you. So mood it be. Now I'm taking names and numbers and when the time comes I will be contacting the appropriate authorities. So just to give you a heads up. Please stop. Okay? It's not fun. Alright? If you want to use my work then contact me. Okay, that's very, very important that you contact me if you want to be a fan, um, mystic, glow lady, at gmail. Contact me. That way you know you are getting me and you're not getting an imposter because there are many people out there who are profiting from those who speak prophetic wisdom. And that is a not so nice Okay, and in divine love and light, what you do comes back to you. So I wish you well. And those of you who would like a private consultation, remember how I said to get a hold of me. Okay, Mystic Glow Lady at gmail.com. That is the real me. Okay, you can put Glow Lady in the internet, and really, there's a whole bunch of imposters coming up there, you know, but check me out on Twitter, check me out on Facebook, all right, and on YouTube, G-L-O-L-A-D-Y, all right, and for those of you who thought you have had readings with me since July, I'm sorry to inform you, but yeah. There's only a couple of readings that I have done, all right, and those were personal, contacted, not through the internet or online. So if you have had what you thought was a reading by Mystic Glow Lady, okay, uh, my real name, as in on my birth, married. Lisa Bain Landis, divorced, um, still the same as, but I go as Glow Lady, and I've been Glow Lady for a long time. I was born a mystic, so Mystic Glow Lady is who I am, okay? So if you would like a reading or a consultation, please contact me, Mystic Glow Lady. Now, I stopped right in the middle of uh, recording December 2015's readings because I've uncovered and let me think Mystic Mama don't go to Mystic Mama Mystic Mama is stealing your videos and then it is infecting people's 
uh, computers. So mysticmama.com, I think that's what it is. I'll have to check my recorded um, evidence to find out exactly. But um, yeah, ding dong, it's time, okay? So by all the power granted in divine love and light, what you do comes back to you. May it be good, may it be light, may it be bright, may it be joyful. May it be kindness unto others, and kindness to you it shall be. So mood it be.